New, new, new. Okay, lots of updates to some old favorites. Lots of updates. Revisions, revisions, revisions. Um, Part 292, a classic. This is our I squared C and SPI LCD backpack. It got a huge update. Um, I was going to update this to add SimiQT, and then I was like, while I'm here, let's kind of fix all the stuff that I wanted to update with it. So this is a backpack. You solder onto the back of your 16x2 or 20x4 character LCD uh, with a backlight, and it's just a very simple but very effective um, I squared C or SPI, you know, like latched. Uh, it's a 595 chip. Um, controller, it basically means you just really need six GPIO to control LCD. You only need two, or in the case of SPI, three of them. And um, it just works very well. We have library code in Arduino and in CircuitPython. And this, is, this board's been around for so long that uh, people have been using it, and there's lots of projects. So the new version is mechanically the same size, right? Like the holes are in the same place. Actually, I added another mounting hole because I had some, sp I, I made the parts a little smaller. Um, but it adds, uh, okay, so go over here. Um, it's two seven QT ports in the bottom and the right, because uh, I wanted to keep the um, terminal blocks in the same location. There's a small um, on LED that'll let you know when it's powered. Um, the thing that I like the most uh, is that I've updated it to have a little boost converter. It now has a switch cap converter that will take the input and give you five volts, which means that you can run this off of three volt power. The previous version was five volts only. Uh, LCDs tend to need five volts uh, for power and logic. Sometimes you can run them on three, but you know if you want the backlight to be nice and bright, you want five volts. Uh, so this will boost the voltage from three to five for you. So you can use it with your Cutie Pie or your RP2040. I also updated the contrast potentiometer to be uh, a lot nicer. Um, the previous one was kind of this SMT potentiometer, which they work uh, and they're, they're very reliable, but I wanted one that was um, you know, easier to turn with a simple screwdriver. Other than that, it's the same design. And so you can use all the code that we've got. Uh, it's stomach UTFI, just easier to use overall, better. There you go. Um, another version that was stomach UTFI'd and updated, this is the bicolor um led matrix uh, you see three colors here because there's red and green and you combine them to make yellow so this backpack was updated um it's got the nice new silk screen uh fonts from penguin and it's got stemmy qt as well uh so you can see in the little animation uh it's plugged into a key pie which we use for our demos no soldering required i mean you have to solder the screen on but once that's done there's no breadboarding required and eventually we'll probably stock a version that is pre-soldered it features the, uh, it's kind of fudged out here a little bit, but it's the Holtec HT16K33, um, which I really like. It uh, can drive the full 16 by eight grid of LEDs because there's two eight by eight grids, one for red and one for green. And you can change the I squared, uh, I squared C address on the back with those jumpers. Next up, Next up a, another revision. This is the ESP32S3 Feather. Um, we've updated the silk screen, you know, with Penguin, so it looks a little nicer. Um, the big update is the onboard um, battery monitor, the LC709203. Number one, it's no longer made. Um, it got discontinued uh, since the board was designed. It can't really get any more LC709203s. So this has been updated to use the Max 17048, which is really a very good same low, ultra low power, same battery monitor can give you percentage charge, doesn't require a uh, inline resistor. Overall, a wonderful little battery charger, uh, battery monitor. There's also an uh, onboard battery charger. Um, and uh, the second thing is the buttons are, I think, easier to press. I made them these nice large oval buttons, which we covered on the great search. Other than that, other than the fact that the battery monitor changed, the pinout's the same, the chip is the same, amount of flash, the amount of RAM. Everything else is identical. We just swapped out uh, one com component for the other. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got from Raspberry Pi shipments of more camera module three. These are really nice, uh, I think 12 megapixel cameras. Yeah, um, we, we've stocked the wide angle normal, and this is the wide end narrow, no IR noir. 
which is why it's kind of gothy and black. Uh, it has no IR cut filter. And what that means is that they're great for use with outdoor nighttime photography, because if you can flood the area with IR light, um, you know, humans and animals don't detect IR light, but this camera will pick it up and still get that night vision effect. You can use it with the Pi Zero using a adapter cable. Um, otherwise, it just works exactly like other um, Raspberry Pi cables, uh, cameras. I will say that there are um, the camera is thicker than um, the previous versions of this camera. You can kind of see it on this image. It's a little chunkier. So you know our camera um, case doesn't fit it because this is significantly bigger. And it comes in two versions. It's uh, 75 degree and 120 degree wide. So pick which one. And um, we we'll also have, of course, the non no IR version. Yeah. They also have a video. Um, I was going to play. It's only like 40 seconds of uh, video shot with the Pi camera. Okay. We've got two BFFs. Number one BFF is the uh, microSD BFF, uh, which you can solder to the back. But for our demo, we um, we did solder it to a little header so we could plug it in. Basically, a dual microSD card connected over the SPI pins. Um, so great for storing audio files or fonts or images, or you can data log to it. So if you want to make a little miniature data logger, um, especially our boards that have a stem QT port, great for sensor data logging. Um, micro SD cards you can then plug into your computer uh, and here it is you know just just saw it as a little sandwich yeah. very cute all right and the start of the show tonight besides you Lady Ada our team our staff our community our customers and everyone who makes this thing go is another BFF this is the Neo Key BFF so if you want to make the smallest keyboard it's just one button but you know connect it to USB um, this NeoKey BFF is a little add-on for all of our Stemma, sorry, all of our Cutie Pie boards that adds a single um, MX compatible switch socket with a reverse mount NeoPixel. Uh, so that's what it looks like on the back. And then that's what it looks like on the front. So you plug in a key switch, which it does not come with because we sell like the individual keys. We have linear yeah. and clicky. You pick which one you want and then um, you yeah. plug it in. And then you had a keycap. Again, you, you pick the keycap. Maybe I'll see if I can find the, um, no. the demo here. I'll show it off. You plug it in, and then um, you write the code to uh, you know whatever you want to do when the uh, key is pressed. You can have it send a key switch uh, or like a play pause. So this is uh, so this is just it plugged into um, little mini headers just to make it removable. Uh, you can plug any Cutie Pie. This one, I think, is the RP2040, which is just our kind of go-to. Um, you can solder it closer together, but it's not, like, if you want to have it socketed, this is kind of as, as small as it gets. And then um, you can plug this into USB-C. And then this is the um, key. So, like I said, you can plug in any MX-compatible key switch. In this case, I think it's a linear black. And then you put in your favorite keycap. And then there's an RGB NeoPixel underneath, and that will glow through um, as long, you know, if you have particularly a translucent um, uh, keycap, like uh, you can see on the animated GIF, you can see it glowing through, um, or you can just not use a NeoPixel, or if you do have a NeoPixel and it's not translucent, it'll just glow around the key. And that is new product. New, 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 new. 